if you're in an emergency or you're in a position where you cannot communicate, that is a scary place to be. Interoperability means the ability to share information across systems when needed, on demand, and when authorized. Interoperability comes into play when you have to work with someone who you don't normally work with. And that means uh, being able to successfully communicate with those that you don't normally communicate with. You have a bunch of different entities and agencies and others involved, and being able to communicate, having a pathway that you can get to each other, whether it's by a mobile device or a radio or digital data, being able to actually connect with the other people and the other parties involved. Interoperability is a really big challenge, not only in just voice, because you have different radio systems, you have different uh, telephone things that you're doing, um, but then you get into the data side and it gets a little confusing too. You have all these different platforms and they all do something a little bit different. So how do you bring it together so that agency A can talk to agency B, whether it's again, um, from a voice standpoint or a data standpoint, but how do you bring that together to make quick communications? So in our statewide system, we have common talk groups that people can use to talk with each other. The, the concept of agency A having instant communications with agency B and not having to go through gateways and all sorts of patches and all these other things that were time consuming to set up is new. And it's actually a, a shift in operations when they learn that they can do that. And it's such an operational benefit to have that, that communication. And interoperable communications is not just radio. It's CAD, it's 911, it's voice, it's computers. We all need to be able to share common platforms to be able to share that information. Um, interoperability means that I can work with somebody regardless of agency, regardless of jurisdiction, regardless of level of uh, government, um, regardless of hazard. So when we come together to face whatever it is that we're facing on our bad day, it means that we can work together. Um, and it's not just about the technology, it's about um, our vernacular, it's about um, our response mechanisms. It's about how we uh, communicate on a day-to-day -day basis. It's about the terminology that we're using, and it is about the technology. Um, can we do this mission together? We may have a pre-planned event. We'll put fire, police, CMS onto a talk group or a radio channel to be able to allow them to communicate versus having an emergency where the police are on their talk groups or their channels, fire departments on their talk groups or their channels, EMS is on theirs, and they have to go through dispatch to be able to relay an informational component that happens at that event. Interoperability allows them to be able to do it on scene or within that discipline and allows their disciplines to be able to cross communicate. We make their jobs easier. You look at a fire department response and fire departments in our state are doing more and more and more mutual aid further and further and further out and it becomes a lifeline for them. They need to have that communication. They need to have that communication between their dispatch center and the scene. They need to be able to go on scene and have efficient communications between disparate fire responders on a scene. Being able to communicate from county to county, um, especially when they're using different systems to communicate, having the different methods to do so makes a big difference. 